Hello everyone and welcome back to Lake the Video Game. We are about to start, I kind of forgot what day we left on last time, or last week rather. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let me quickly get a, a little feel for where we're at. Because I kind of wish like it would tell me the day beforehand or like before I start loading would be kind of nice. But you know what this is, it is. I'm trying to recall what happened last. So last week we we got an RV. We got to say goodbye to Angie apparently. It is Thursday, September 11. We have today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday left in the game. So that is something to work out. I think they're leaving the RV the at the. Um, morning, PO. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. Oh. PO, positive or pet peeve? Justin. The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of, a few clouds early on, but they will be gone soon. Music time! Huh. Not sure what he was going with that, but you know, it'll do. It will do. But yeah, we got our VB... Maybe it's a bye to Angie, though we uh, kind of started, like, seeing her for a hot minute, and then, like, yeah, she just start, made that decision, like, yeah, that uh, her video rental store wasn't good enough for the town, or why not even be the right time or place for it. So she's actually moving to another town, apparently, like, Angie's is close. I do want to go buy her in a second, just to see where she's actually gone, gone, you know? So, I, don't know I would like to still see her again if I can. Maybe talk to her. Let me see if we can still uh, get this whole Angie Meredith storyline off the road. You should know. Meredith herself is good. Better than her job, which she's clearly not enjoying. Goodbye. Ooh. But that aside, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys have been doing well. I've been mainly spending my time, I mean, not sure you can even see, but I have like paint standing beside me because I've been uh, working on painting some minis for D&D things in the future. Hopefully better sooner than later. Although I've also been uh, painting a few things which wouldn't even show up anytime soon if it were to do a longer standing campaign and burst with people near me. Because I've been, uh, let's see, I mean, I'm not sure I can show you guys. But, uh... I've been painting myself this little boy. Not quite done yet, it's just like the mouths have not been quite painted in yet. And I do like want to make the bottom like more of a bone color. Or like, you know, stomach colors. I'm trying to like make them as close to the um, the actual Hydra from the book as I can. And yeah, Angie is still gone. I don't think we're gonna see Angie anymore. At least I'm not setting my uh, hopes out high here. And you also certainly have a place in here, does she? I'm sorry for sudden I haven't seen her. Okay. Yeah, what's going up to our next stop, which is number 108. Which seemed to be flickering a little bit when it was on the van, so... Not sure that uh, means something. You can see, like, the left, you can see, like, the number is, like, flickering. All right, so we got here a sales a stop on Jackson Road 200 or Jackson Street 200 or 200 Jackson Street. By the way, to say it probably. Look at that. Looks like today we are gonna have an uh, easy route or route. I don't know. What do you guys say? Do you say route or route? Because I generally normally go for route, and for some reason I would route. What on earth do these folks order? I don't know. A present for their kids. Who knows? It's not our business, you know? It's not our freaking business. Nope. No answer. Ah. God, talk about mail package, actually. Since, uh, um, I also got a new printer, finally. Because, you know, new paper printer, not a 3D printer. I will go. Would I say no to another 3D printer? Probably not. But, um, for real. Like, uh, God, I, I don't know. Do you guys have any experience with male people? Because, holy crap, sometimes, like, 
Well, I was expecting packages like last Friday. I'm poor. Or specifically, it's like uh, yesterday, I think. No, wait. It's currently is Sunday, Sunday evening. So, like, you know, I usually record these like either Saturday or Sunday, by the way, just to uh, clarify. But, like, so I got a package on the door, at the door, here's the doorbell. I immediately go down. Like, I am downstairs at the door within 20, 30 seconds. Probably faster. I must like to say. Probably, like, yeah, probably like 15, 20 seconds. I, I like downstairs. It's like they're already walking away. Like, Jesus. I have to go down two floors, okay? Like, don't need to already like walk away. As they don't leave packages here. They either take him away or just like dump at the neighbors. And I don't trust my neighbors. So I guess it's a good thing they don't leave the package behind. Because I swear to God, we get stolen. But I don't know. I feel you can at least have a little bit more patience. Like, wait, like, I don't know, a minute or something. Which I know you're on a tight schedule, but still. I feel I'm down relatively quick, and then they're already rocking away. Which actually, I'm kind of doing the same now. Ooh, interesting. But I mean, this is different. The game, like, you know, nobody's going to show up. It's just like, the game's made like that. But yeah, we're, uh, we're pretty close to actually finishing off the two-week storyline. I'm pretty sure, like, the game is supposed to end after two weeks in-game, because I think that Meredith either decides to stay, or, you know, you do other things. And we also have three more stops left, two more packages, and this letter to... Whose name I forgot? What's your name again? Oh, dear. Right, Mildred. You're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, hi, Miss J... Mildred? Miss J... Mildred? Are you expecting more mail from your son? It's just... this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening. Oh. But I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just huh. a postcard. There's some cat hair on my, uh, my mic. Because for those that know, I recently got to, or recently, sweet enough, it's been like two months already. It's like, uh, yeah, I got two cats and, like, one keeps rubbing up against my mic, seemingly leaving all these hairs. But what do you mean he needs to bring you an envelope? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Oh, dear, oh, dear. He can't just have vanished into they thin killed air, him. can he? Ooh. I wish I could tell you where he is. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Uh. Perhaps I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. Oh, yeah, I can do that. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Oh, sorry to sneeze. Tomorrow night? Hmm. Don't think I have anything with tomorrow night. Sure. No trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. I mean, right now, I don't know. I, I would be lying if I'd say I have other plans, but. I was say, don't, right? Yeah, no. Friday, just watch Miller's cats. Yeah, we can do that, right? We'll watch cats. We'll watch cats, the musical. Oh, yeah, that's also a uh, pick of the RV. Because we're, uh, we're getting an RV from the. Uh, People are like uh, fleeing to Canada. Then a death road to Canada. Meredith, look at this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. It's mine, actually. Mickey and June gave it to me. You know, that young couple down by the lake campground. Whoa, really? 
That's oh, so maybe I can give it to Here, her. We left this note on the driver's seat. Oh, let me read it. Life's a journey and not a destination. Just grab the wheel and enjoy the ride. Love, M and J. So, what are you going to do with it? You have to hit the road. Yeah, I'm gonna offer it to her. I actually don't really want it after all. Maybe you'd like to have it. You know, keep it here and tinker on it? Oh, yes! That'd be amazing. Yeah, why not? You know I love tinkering. But it's going to need a lot of work. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while... I should give it a name first. I can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the Sea Turtle? Big, Respectable. slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the Raccoon. Because it's got brown spots and is full of trash? Or the hermit shell? It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. That how a shell of a hermit crab like... work? You know, I like the hermit shell. The hermit shell. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. See you, Lori. Enjoyed the thing. Also, we never really gave the package that, did we? <laughs> they just assumed, like, yeah, we gave it. Yeah, okay, we have one last stop, and then we're done already for the day. This was a very short day, apparently. Unless, like, something's gonna happen, but who knows? Yeah, after this, I'm gonna have to take a little bit, bit of a break in between recordings to help out a friend, because he actually needs to install a BIOS. And he, like, he's not really sure how to do it. I haven't really got a ch the chance to go buy them at either. So I've been kind of busy or waking up late. I know I'm streaming or hanging out with other friends. Life's busy. Very, very busy. Upside, we are getting some fancy new uh, news and everything. Like, you know, how uh, TwitchCon is potentially next year. So that's cool. Besides that, I would like to uh, probably go there. It's going to be July 20 2022. But what about YouTube Con? Although, there's basically VidCon, isn't it? At least, I don't know. Is that what kind of what VidCon is? Because I've never been to VidCon, which I haven't been announced and... Well, VidCon is in, you know, LA, so... Yeah, no. Uh, okay. Is that, is that gonna be that weird house again, like, that's all abandoned? Or one of those houses that's just weirdly abandoned? I, I, I can have to walk around here, right? I hope I can, because otherwise I'm going to drive all, drive all the way around, and I really don't want to. Let me just see if I can walk through the trees here. Probably not. Or actually, yeah, I can. Cool. All right. Then I have to go all the way around, and I'm pretty sure to see... No, it's not the exact same house it was last time, because the last house I was at was, like, entirely falling apart, and this one just seems... Fine. Oh, so does it seem to let me do anything, or am I just crazy? Um. Yeah, it's not letting me walk up the steps. So that's a little bit of a problem. Wait. We're gonna meet someone new. Fancy. Oh, now it works. Because I'm hearing like a typewriter. And it's Steve! Uh, yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good stuff. Is that the same guy that does like the narration? Because he sounds a bit like him. Ah, a writer. How interesting. Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away! If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times! You must have me confused with someone else, sir. Oh, bloody heck, do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away! How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? Uh... 
Do you know the Postal Service motto? Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night, so on and so forth. But no one ever added neither rudeness, nor arrogance, nor insults, last I checked. <sighs> I... I do beg your pardon. I... Uh, yes, I guess I he's just stressed. We, we're not going to blame the man. I didn't know you were from the Postal Service, man. Yeah, I mean, you don't need something to start yelling at people. Should it even matter who I am? Shouting at random strangers is generally considered rude. True. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up. Or his wife and the publisher the same person? Needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch and uh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? Are we going to add she something to the uh, thing? The lake. Then what happens? Oh, Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait. I got it. And then he says... This interesting fella. Well, it looks like we're going to be heading out back to the post office. I don't think we're going to be able to finish the, the book we were reading, though, so that's kind of sad. I might play this some more in my spare time, though. Because, like, there's going to be a lot of things that's just going to be there. But, like, a lot of things is probably going to be the same. What I've heard as well is, like, um, apparently some people made the request of, like, an endless option so I could just, like, deliver mail every day, which could be interesting. I would be interested in seeing that. Not necessarily sure whether I would play that, but it could be cool. I'm not entirely sure what they would do, you know? Like, I don't know, what would, what would you do in an endless mode? Like, what is, I don't know, what does that entail, so to speak? But yeah, what I've noticed, like, uh, there's, like, less and less happening, which... I'm not sure that's a good word to call it a good or a bad thing. But, like... I don't know. There's just less happening. So the episodes have been getting shorter, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Which does mean, I think... Uh, the last episode is probably going to be on Friday, because I think that... For tomorrow's episode... Or rather, it's tomorrow. For uh, Wednesday's episode, we're going to be doing the Friday. And then on the well, Friday, we're going to have probably the last episode for Saturday and Sunday and probably gonna reach the end of the game, which is going to be a little bit exciting, a little bit sad, but exciting. You know, it's like, I don't know. It's always weird for me to finish a game, especially like a game I've been thoroughly enjoying. Which I guess is the thing with game of has like, I played it for a while. And I think it's become more of a game that I try and play in my spare time. Weiss. First, uh, I can just finish that. Because, like, I don't know, Game Death Masters doesn't really have an end. Which is a thing where, while I do love simulation games, they're fun, they're interesting. There are just, like, when you get, like, the sandboxy kind of games where you can just keep going for as long as you feel like. At one point, I will get, like, a bit burned out, especially after, like, you know, when I tried to do the new update, and somehow I kept failing over and over and, like, going bankrupt, and just, like, uh, got me in order to, like, to the point where, like, you know, I think it's best to continue this, like I said, as a game to play in my spare time. For now, let's talk to Mr. Morgan. I'm going to review it against him, because he's not refusing to be honest with us. Yikes, you creep! Uh, you keep giving me jump scares. What? 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 Don't try to be a wise guy. Or a wise gal, Miss Weiss. I'm sorry, sir. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. Ah. Uh. Oh, really? I'm going to keep going about Frank. Back then? That's all I have to say. Good luck. God, he's just really not... Ref he's refusing to say anything about Frank at all, isn't he? Jesus. Where is a Farang? Who murdered him? Hello? Hi, Em. It's me, Kay. Oh, hi, Kay. 
Good, you're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, Brain. I just... You sound a bit agitated. Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's Journey, so I'm like, oh, Don't I need to go tonight. stop I got these believing. And it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably or. be out all night, and I promise you I've called everyone and their brother besides. They're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I get a shortcut to the question? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on all okay, so this. Faithfully. Right, recap. Journey tonight in Portland. Got tickets. Sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight? Oh, she has two kits? Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll yeah, well, how about K? K is great. You serious? That would help me out in such a big way. Yes, we're yes. serious. Oh, big time. Huge. Hmm. Let's make a little joke out of it. You would, wouldn't you? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, dear. Never mind. Don't care. Can you be here around 6 p.m.? So in like 30 minutes? You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit. All right. See ya. I guess we're not reading a book tonight. Never mind. How's the pulse? All right. Who wants s'mores? Don't even slide yet. Like, all right, guys, I'm outside. Who wants s'mores? Who knows? Who does hey, want hey, s'mores? Hey, guess who's back? Hey, Frankie's back. Frank? I'm so glad to see you again. He's not dead, guys. I'm we so did it. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Good riddance. Hell yeah. That True. Cool didn't like him work. anyway. I'm just gonna ask what happened. What happened the last few days? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Juicy. Ooh, this sounds very juicy. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. Like, I don't know. What's so wrong with him gambling his money? You know, he it's his money. He should do whatever the hell he wants. In his spare time, and I can also not disrupting work. But, Frank, isn't this all just really wrong? Nah, Meredith. It's just a bit of harmless fun. Yeah, I mean, I can say I enjoyed the drama. I can't say that I haven't enjoyed the drama. All right. Time to get back in the saddle. Have a great day, Meredith. Wow, what a what a flip turner. Okay. Well with that I'm gonna end it up right here. We're happy that Frank is back finally. Um I'm just gonna keep it short and simple as I tried to keep it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, give me a thumbs down if you dislike the video, your opinion, your opinion matters. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any further uploads. If you want to get in touch with me on social media, I stream live on Twitch. Generally Monday, Wednesday, Friday if I can. I have the energy for it. Um, there is the Discord and of course there is the Twitter. Links to everything in the description down below. So check those out once again. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!